welcome to the Small Group Leaders video training series for 2024. Hello, my name is Dewey and this is my beautiful wife Lila. Deval has asked us to share about what it means to be a district leader. And to make it more interesting, or hopefully, we've decided to um, make it interview style. So Louis, tell me, um, what is a district leader? The uh, best way to think of that is you are an overseer of the health of firstly the cell leader, of the small group leader, and then also of the small groups. Okay, so we talk about rhythms in church a lot. Um, what would you say is the rhythm for a district leader? Um, the district leader Firstly, it's slotted into a home base a cell because your own health, your spiritual health is really important. And then from there, you can visit the small groups in your district once a month. Okay, so when visiting a small group, um, how do you practically oversee the health of the small group? Okay, remember that you are anointed to be a blessing. It is because of your role and your position. It has nothing to do with what you ate or um, it has nothing to do with what you did or didn't do. So uh, to get to the role, is um, the first thing is prayer is super important. So um, you must actually expect your prayers to be answered and expect your prayers to avail much. And there's a scripture that we want to read. You want to read the scripture? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's in Ephesians 6 verse 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Hmm. Thank you. Okay, the next thing is um, the training that we've received as, um, as leaders in the church, as cell group leaders, is really excellent. So we want to um, um, also implement that or make sure that that gets um, implemented in the, in the small groups in, in an easy, does it way. So that would entail um, having a healthy balance in the cell group or um, having all the members participate in bringing their gift or um, bringing your heart to the table. Um, you know, we, we want to help facilitate that. And then the uh, next thing would be to um, expect to see stuff in the cell group. Um, you want to see stuff and you want to trust the Lord because of your position. You want to trust the Lord to see things in the cell group that would require your prayer or maybe possible follow up with a uh, follow up with uh, the cell of uh, the small group leader or follow up in the cell if there's a divine opportunity for that. Okay, um, and can you give a few examples of those type of situations? Um, the b things that would harm a cell would be something like bitterness or offense or um, some people um, operating out of a place of pride. That's um, definitely something, some stuff that you can pray for and look out for. And then also if there's a person... That is, um, they have hurt and they, they, uh, they, they are uh, taking up so much of the cell time that it can actually be detrimental to the cell uh, cell's health. Okay, so um, those are the type of things you actually want to pray about yeah, and possibly follow up. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay, so after um, visiting a cell group, I assume you want to give feedback to the cell group leader. So, can you elaborate on that? Um, we found um, what, what I, uh, is, is uh, really helpful is to just off the cell group, to have a quick time with your small group leader. And um, it, it doesn't need to be directly off the cell group, it can be at church quickly. And um, you want to um, just um, speak about, uh, it, it, it must be the hamburger treatment. So, you, you firstly say um, something really positive, like, Yo, the worship song was so amazing, or that song you chose, or um, yo, there was such amazing engagement with the soul. And then you say your your suggestion it would be something like yo, maybe we you should think about um, getting a new leader because the cell group is going, or we must um, um, look about look look at inviting more people into the cell group into the space because it's really amazing. 
and then you can uh, give another positive thing again. Like, yo, I can't wait to, to be at the cell group next week. We love the cell group. Yeah, encouragement is important um, mm. to give your cell group members um, or cell group leaders encouragement. Um, so apart from visiting cell groups, um, what other roles does a district leader have? Um, you can see yourself as a supporting role or a partnering role, supporting and partnering. Okay, so can you um, elaborate on how to support uh, the cell group leader? Yeah, no, uh, you need to build relationship with your cell, small group leaders. Um, so that would be um, um, being there for them emotionally and being there for them and, and how are you doing? How is the cell doing? Are you overloaded? Or stuff like, um, do you have challenges? Do you have any prayer requests? Or, um, and then you want to encourage them. You, you really want to encourage them in, in what they're doing good and, and encourage them to come and speak to you if they have any, any issues or difficulties. Mm -hmm. Okay, so besides from visiting cell groups and supporting the small group leaders, um, you also mentioned partnering. So can you maybe expand on that? Um, the two main areas we would think is um, identifying leaders is very important and also then um, facilitating the multiplication. Amen. Yeah. So the way to do that would be um, asking questions. Um, like we said just now, um, so Yo, don't you think the cell group is becoming large? Maybe we should go and pray about um, expanding the cell group or, um, or multiplying the cell group. And that's a great thing to multiply. And then the next week, we can say, Yo, I'm, I was thinking of this leader, I'm praying about this leader, what do you think, or who do you think would be a, a, the next um, potential leader? Okay. You ask question. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Um, so, you visit the cell groups, you um, support the cell small group leaders, and you partner with them. Um, say um, there's a small group that has a challenging situation in the cell group, or um, challenging cell group members, um, or counselling needs that the cell leader feels it's outside of the cell group's ability to handle. Mm. Um, how would you facilitate that? Um, the first thing is you really want the cell, um, the small, small group leader, um, the small group leader, to firstly come to you as the district leader. And for advice and for prayer and for support. And then after that... So, so I assume you have um, to tell them that yeah. if they've got problems, please come to you yeah. as their district leader. Firstly, yeah. You are the channel. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> then if there's stuff, um, a person that has a, a really a, a large counseling need, you can refer them to a, the, the church's counselor or professional counselor or to a pastor. And then, um, or any, uh, if they, they have a financial, um, um, when they need financial wisdom, we can pass them on to somebody in the, in the church that has really a professional um, um, way of explaining how to do, do good in finances. You know? Okay, so can you maybe give an example of some situation where you helped as a district leader, where you helped one of the cell um, or small group leaders to handle a situation? A difficult situation. Um, the um, easiest example would be if there's a, a small group member that um, uh, got offended with another small group member and it's a, a, a tricky situation to sort out because now they don't want to come to sell a small group anymore then you can go as the small group um, or the um, district leader with the, your small group leader to that person, uh, you pray, um, uh, you've prayed beforehand, and then you go to, to chat with the person and hear their heart, and then um, um, speak to them about all the issues, and then pray with them as well. You know, so it's a, 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 a partnering with the, the small group leader to, to be able to solve the situation. Yeah. Okay, and what about if you, as a district leader, can't handle the situation? <laughs> Uh, then you have other amazing leaders in the church where you can um, ask for help or the elders or the pastor. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> now you've been a district leader for many years. Um, what is the most common mistakes you've seen small group leaders make? 
Well, two, two of them would be um, that the small, small group leader feels that he has to do everything. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and the other thing is that uh, he thinks he needs to prepare uh, this uh, massive um, sermon and that everything um, is, is on him to, to do that in the small group meeting. And then it, um, he actually it needs to just facilitate. <laughs> okay, so how would you advise him? When you see that happening in a small group, how would you advise that? Um, to keep the, the small group leaders um, from burning out and from um, becoming discouraged and, and overwhelmed, mm -hmm. you, actually, you just need to help them to delegate. Um, you, you look for a person in the small group that has a gift of, of, um, of um, um, what's it? Administration. Administration, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Administration. <laughs> And then you can tell him, but that person would love to, to just manage all the um, admin, admin tasks. You can just give it to them. Just don't do it all yourself. Give some of the stuff to them. Yeah, and, and also um, with the encouragement to, to get everybody involved, you can just encourage them to, to um, get the uh, cell group members to engage and participate, all of them. Yeah. Okay, so at this stage is there any more practical steps that you can think of to share with other district leaders um i think a wonderful thing is to ask the small group leader if you can be on their whatsapp group their small group whatsapp group because you can then really keep tabs on the health of the group and also about the meeting times the practical stuff and also on the challenges that they have as a small group it really comes to through whatsapp Mm -hmm. yeah. Very revealing those WhatsApp groups. <laughs> Stay informed. Okay, yeah. so um, Louis, there's just time for one last question. So um, I know you sometimes have something on your heart. <laughs> you still have anything on your heart that you really want to share with the district leader. No, I think the district leader. If there's a, a question that we can ask ourselves, is what God is. What's what's God saying to the church? What is God saying to the church through the vision and through the, the training material that you have and through the preaching, super important, the preaching, and then also through um, intercession and also, yeah, um, and, and if you, you want to partner with that in, in having those things established in the small group, because that's what the Lord is saying already, there's already a blessing on that and you can just flow with it, <laughs> it's, it makes it easy, does it? It makes it um, in, in the Lord's world, you know, most of it would be really in the Lord's world. You know. mm -hmm. oh, yeah, the other thing is um, your, um, the, the role of a small group leader should be a, a one of joy and it should, be, um, it should be fun. It should be fun to go and visit the small, small groups. It is not a, um, a burdensome thing. Um, Jesus said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Um, three things, yoke, three words, yoke is easy, or three words, burden is light, or three words, easy does it. <laughs> so um, also the small group should be life-giving to yourself and to others, or firstly to others, and then also to yourself, and you, it will be a blessing to you because in giving you, you will receive. There's a scripture that I quickly just want to um, get, get to here. Um, you can mm -hmm. it in Matthew 11 verse 29 and 30 take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light and so to sum that up we want thank you Lisa. <laughs> We want to, um, to operate out of a place of resting in God. We want to operate out of a place of the full, full, um, finished work of the cross. Everything that Jesus has accomplished for us as his bride. Yeah. Okay, well, we hope that was um, helpful. Um, thanks to Mr. Louis Steitler. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we'll see you again in church. Bye. Good.